Hi, I'm Chef Alan Virgo. I'm partnering with Sierra Designs to show you a really delicious lunch you can make with wild mushrooms growing in your woods right now. Today we're going to be cooking with chicken of the woods mushrooms. These are relatively common in the summer. You have two different varieties. A yellow one called Lady Porus sulfurius and then a white one called Lady Porus cincinnatus. Both of them are really good, but the white one is a little bit better. Whatever one you find, you want to make sure you get them young and tender. Those pictured right there are really nice. We're going to make a Sicilian dish called fungo de carubo where they're braised in tomato sauce. So we have our chicken of the woods and this is a white chicken of the woods. So it's going to be more tender than the yellow variety. These grow mostly on dying and decaying oak trees where I live. And the most important thing to check for is that you want to see that the inside is free of bugs. So you can see when I cut this that there are no bug holes. There's no bug holes in any of that. That is exactly what we want. And we only want to use the tender kind of outer portions. And what I'm going to do is just cut the mushrooms into slices. And it's called chicken of the woods because it has a, te a, a texture that's kind of similar to chicken. So I'll just cut these tender parts up, cut them into pieces that will fit on a spoon because we're just going to eat this as a little rustic lunch with some grilled bread. Once all the pieces are cut up, we're going to cook it with a little bit of shallot and garlic and a little bit of the bee balm, or I call it wild oregano, uh, also known as Monarda fistulosa. It's got a wonderful smell that's similar to oregano with like a little bit of thyme in it. We'll have a little bit of hot chili, a little bit of tomato, and some grilled homemade focaccia, and it's gonna be great. First thing I'm going to do is put a little oil in the pot. Mushrooms are going to soak up a good amount of oil. Put the mushrooms in. And I'm going to cook them around and I'm not going to add any salt yet. I'm going to put a little bit of color on the mushrooms. And if I have to add a little bit more oil, I'll do that. So we're gonna add a little bit of tomato sauce too. And everything is gonna kinda get soaked up. These are really one of my favorite mushrooms, especially when they're young like this one. The mushrooms have started to lose their water. Oh, you can see how, look at how beautiful that oil is. The natural orange pigment of the mushrooms will kind of bleed into the oil and the oil will start to taste like mushrooms I just love that. I'm gonna make a little space in the pan where I can add some shallots now, a little bit of shallot and some garlic. And we're gonna cook that just until it starts to get a little color on it. And at this point, I'm also gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper. So I can see that the, sh the shallots and the garlic are starting to get a little color and the mushrooms are kind of golden brown on the edges. Now it's time to add a little bit of tomatoes. You could add tomato juice too. And we're just gonna cook that down until it's nice and thick and it looks like we can spoon it on some grilled bread. And I'll add I'll add the bee balm here that'll give it a nice flavor, kind of like oregano. And I have some hot chili that I'm going to add too, which is kind of optional, but I like it a little spicy. I'll double check the seasoning. It's okay, you could use a pinch of salt. One of the things I see people at home doing that I like to give them advice on is always be seasoning your food, tasting your food. And probably the biggest, the biggest thing that will improve food at home or food out when you're camping is just using salt. Season your food with salt until it tastes good to you. I'm gonna cut a few thick slices of focaccia to put on the grill. And this also has some of the bee balm in it, which has a good oregano flavor. 
You could use any kind of bread that you have. Some nice sourdough, whatever you got. Kasha is gonna put some grapeseed oil on them. I'm gonna put the focaccia on a cooler part of the grill because I don't want it to burn. I want it to get some nice color, but I don't want it to absolutely char. And that's what we're looking for. Just some nice grill marks. That, hey, that's even better. These are perfect. And by the time the bread's all toasted, it looks like our mushrooms should be done. That's delicious. I think we're ready. I can smell the herbs, the shallots and the garlic, mushrooms. Mushrooms? Cut it into some nice slices. Now, all we do is put the mushrooms on a plate, or you could eat them straight out of the cooking pan if you really want. Oh, it smells so good. We'll garnish it with some of the grilled bread, just around the side. And it's okay if the bread has some black on it. A little bit of char is good. Then finally, a little bit of pecorino cheese. few of the Minarda leaves, just so we can remember what we're eating. And that is a great lunch for camping. And if you want, you can finish it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed meeting one of my favorite mushrooms, 